Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I want to talk AJ Brown. Um, he looked disgruntled in Tennessee. Eagles have to make a move for him. Have to. Also, I want to talk the Honey Badger. The Honey Badger will be signing with a new team soon, based off this tweet. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, let's get into AJ Brown. Good morning, everyone. Let me shoot this one. Early in the morning, I might get this four to five in the morning, but let's talk AJ Brown. AJ Brown, he is very disgruntled. Um, so they basically putting a narrative out there that he's not this good teammate, he's this bad teammate, he do this, he do that. You see Debo Sam was going through the same thing in San Francisco. Didn't really hear much about Terry McLaurin. Actually, it's more jokes about Carson Wentz than Terry McLaurin based on that situation. But Eagles got to strike now. They have to strike now because obviously A.J. Brown won out. He won out because he want to get paid. He want to get paid. So um, the big debate is, should you get a wide receiver out of the draft, pay him less? But that balloon payment is going to come. If that wide receiver and Devontae Smith turn out to be something, um, you're going to have to pay both of them. Unless you get a vet guy now. And A.J. Brown is young. I really don't even consider him a vet. But if you get like a guy like him now, pay him the 20 to $25 million now, I, I think it's safe to say later on when that balloon payment come up for Devontae Smith, you will be able to pay it. You will be able to pay it. So I would say get the vet guy now and, and just go all go all in. Go for it. Even though in Howie Roseman words, he's not trying to go all in. Cause if you could trade that what first round pick and get an AJ Brown, I'm cool with that. And then get a cornerback, defensive lineman, who whoever you need to get. Right? So I'm not mad at the move of trying to get AJ Brown or DK Metcalf or anything like that. I'm still on that train that if you get one of these guys, you're helping out your quarterback. And I I pick AJ Brown over DK Metcalf just because the relationship he have with Jalen Hurts. And I've been on the board is that if this is Jalen Hurts basically prove a year, he got to prove that he can be the quarterback of the future, get as much help for him because I made the same case for Carson Wentz. Same case. I'm like, well, if Carson Wentz is your $100 million man, we got to give him some help. But he's had the same old players and trying to make it work with practice squad players. Got to give him help. So I'm on that same board with Jalen Hurts. You got to give him help. And I think A.J. Brown will be help. See, you move Tennessee out of his bio. This is real screenshots of it. Tennessee bold it. He removed it. Fans on his back. Ownership. The media is putting out these stories. Like, why not? All of a sudden, AJ Brown name is all in the media. He's not even that type of dude. So I believe he won out. Obviously, he's not going to lash out and say it, but he's definitely hitting at it by these tweets. Now, Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew, there's a bunch of reports by not really verified guys, but guys that call themselves insiders. Then you got the jokes saying Tyron Matthew is going to sign with the Eagles. Salute to Philly Mike. He said, my sources, my gut. Then you got all these other jokes. My sources, such and such. My sources, my intuition, my sources. But... I see these other guys that claim they have sources saying that Tyron Matthew is going to sign with the Philadelphia Eagles and people been tweeting and tweeting and tweeting at him like, come to Philly, come to Philly, come to Philly. And then he put out this tweet like, look, we read all of it. Fine print and all. I'm just summing up what he said. Cool. If that's true, it looked like he's about to sign with a new team soon, but he want to be very, very careful of what. He put a signature on, which I'm cool with. To me, it's really no rush to get Honey Badger. And even if we miss out, there's some guys, some safeties in this draft that we can really get and they can be ready, NFL ready, besides Kyle Hamilton. 
So to me, it's really no rush. But I, I don't know. A salute to Philly back again. Like he said, his sources. My source is my gut right now. I believe he's going to sign with Philly. I think Philly will be the best fit for him. We had that veteran guy, that guy that could command the defense at the safety level, also play the box. It's a lot Tyron Matthew can do. And I just think he'll fit the scheme, especially with us beefing up the defense. And then we have top-tier guys, basically on all levels, if you want to start with the defensive line, with Fletcher Cox, with Javon Hargrave, on linebacking court, you got Kaiser White from the Chargers. You got Hassan Reddick, and then you had Tyron Matthew at that third level. And of course, I can't forget about oh, forget about Big Play Slay, of course. So, yeah, um, Tyron Matthew would be a great fit. And if he comes to the Eagles, or if we get that top tier safety, I can almost guarantee. I can almost guarantee that we'll be a top five. Guaranteed top 10 defense. Guaranteed. Because you had a pass rushers. You had a lockdown corner. Of course, we need another corner. But then you had that safety. At all levels. So, um, it look like Tyron Matthew is going to sign with a new team soon. These guys are hinting that A.J. Brown is hinting that he won out. Tyron Matthew is hinting that he has a contract with somebody. But he just want to make sure it's real right. Man, and I got to salute him for that. Don't sign anything. How do you feel about A.J. Brown being disgruntled with the Tennessee Titans? And do you think Tyron Matthew will find a new home soon? But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost.